Hello friends and welcome to Movie Capsules. In the 21st century, in order to solve the issue of overpopulation of humans, a project for an exploration to Mars was launched. It was named the Terraforming Project. The movie begins in the year 2597 with Komachi and Nanao escaping from the police. They are surrounded and caught. They meet Dr. Honda who offers them an opportunity to escape from their crime while making money at the same time. It was a mission to Mars. They accepted. At the shop, Jin tries his fighting skills with Komachi. Dojima, the captain of the ship, informs the crew that they are about entering the atmosphere of Mars. They make their landing. The crew consists of criminals who have been promised freedom after the mission on Mars. They are to eradicate the cockroaches on Mars in return for freedom and money. Lieutenant Obari launches Mars Red Pro missiles. Dojima begins to pair the crew on areas to conduct search on the planet. Aircraft BUGS-1 has been found. It is a ship deployed 10 years ago on a secret project exploration by the Japanese. Honda reiterates that if the mission is successful, Japan could announce its future technological sophistication to the other countries. While conducting search, Komachi trembles at the sight of a cockroach, or at least he thought it was one. It is just a mound of moss, says Nanao. Jin and Maria find three ugly-looking martial cockroaches much bigger looking than humans. They quickly hide. Komachi and Nanao also spot one of the creatures, and it begins to walk towards them, snaps Nanao's neck, kills her in split seconds and vanishes. Same creatures also hurt Azuka during the search. Back at the ship, Komachi questions Dojima about what the creatures are. It appears Dojima is already aware of the existence of the cockroaches as he begins to narrate to the crew how the insects mutated and their evolution exploded here on Mars. Komachi is furious at Honda for deploying them to Mars despite being aware of the dangerous cockroaches. Honda informs them that they were all injected with power to complete the task against the insects. Each of them have in their bodies DNA injected insects and they possess the strength of the insects. Dojima then gives each of them the data of their ability. Suddenly, the giant cockroaches begin to surround the ship. God Lee steps outside to take out the cockroaches. He quickly injects himself with the shot and transforms into a ground beetle, which produces hydroquinone and hydrogen peroxide. Lee begins to fight the cockroach and defeats it after releasing a blast of fire from his palm. However, the insect rises again and smashes Lee. The cockroach approaches the ship and breaks into the protected glass, killing two members of the team. Dojima volunteers to deal with the insect. He injects a shot which sees him transform into a Parapanera insect from South Africa, also referred to as the bullet ant. He can lift a burden 100 times heavier than his own. Dojima easily defeats the cockroach. The radar shows more cockroaches coming towards the ship. They try to take off back to Earth, but the systems are down. Dojima volunteers to become the decoy, using himself as bait so that the team members can get to the plane BUGS-1. They proceed into the Mars rover and Tezuka takes his shot, transforming into a bug called Maclee, which will shoot out strong gas once an enemy approaches. He destroys the insects with fire from his monstrous jaw, while the rover smashes through the infestation. The cockroaches surround Dojima and Ichiro. Ichiro seals the ship and begins to dispose off the oxygen which begins to kill the insects. Up ahead, the team spots a tsunami of cockroach infestation. The ship flies out of the infestation. A second wave is coming and Tezuka will not last longer this time. So Ryo Sako volunteers this time and transforms into a black beetle called Ishikagi with a hard exterior. Maria transforms into a rainbow beetle to accompany Osako. The team dives into the wave of cockroaches smashing them as they go. The rover crashes and comes to a stop. It then switches to autopilot mode, leaving Maria, Osako, and Tezuka. Maria's head is smashed off. The insects take them all out. Dojima and Ichiro pass out due to lack of oxygen. The team arrive the ship calling out to Tezuka, Osako and Maria, but no response. 
They get inside the ship and begin to check its systems. They discover that BUGS-1 is delivering something to Earth. A gunshot is heard from outside, and on getting there, Yoshikane and Toromaru have been shot dead without having to use their abilities. Honda is seen contacting one of the cockroaches who tells him that Dojima is trapped in a fight inside the ship. This particular cockroach speaks. It is advised by Honda to stay away from Komachi when he transforms as he is greatly overwhelming. Komachi takes the shot and transforms into an Asian giant hornet. He begins to fight the roaches, killing them one after the other. Jin takes his shot and transforms into a desert locust which has the best legs in the insect world. The speaking cockroach enters the ship and turns the oxygen back on. Together, Komachi Jin and Obari destroys the cockroaches around the ship. Out of the speaking cockroach proceeds Moriki, who rescues Dojima from it. They locate the egg on the ship. Honda speaks to them via a flying robot, revealing to them that the BUGS-2 is a secret instruction, so that Azuka and Ichiro can return to Earth. The secret plan took off when Hiruma set the systems down. Honda spilled the whole truth to them. They were actually sent to Mars to retrieve the egg for observation by the Japanese government and not to kill the cockroaches. Honda abandons the team on Mars. The egg begins to hatch, bringing forth two cockroaches. Moriki takes a shot, hoping to use her mind-controlling insect ability to control the hatched insect, but they kill her instead. The ship takes off with Hirama on board, leaving Komachi, Jin, and Obari. The hatched cockroaches on board the ship begins to call out to their counterparts on the ground, and suddenly they develop wings and begin to fly towards the ascending ship, destroying and pulling it back to the ground. Komachi Jin and Obari are surrounded. They take their shots, and the fight begins. Obari is taken out by the evolved cockroach. Komachi takes a second shot and becomes even more powerful. Together, Jin and Komachi battle, the insects killing them in their multitude. Komachi takes on the evolved cockroach, but it is too powerful. Jin takes an extra shot that could kill him. Having had one too many shots, he falls to the ground and is about being smashed when Komachi rescues him. All alone and powerless against the evolved cockroach, Komachi is about to be killed when a flying sparkling insect descends from above. Behold, there lies Nanao in her insect form. She sprinkles something like a pixel dust on the insects. Jin tells Komachi that putting a spark of fire will cause the dust bomb to explode. He tells Komachi to escape. Komachi flies off towards Nano, stretches to grab her while a gun is fired by a cockroach, causing a massive explosion. Jin flies off to rescue Komachi as he screams our Nano's name. Jin dies after rescuing Komachi. The cockroaches are defeated. Komachi meets Hiruma inside the ship. Hiruma points a gun at him but kills a cockroach behind Komachi instead. There is one more plane pad enough for two to fly back to Earth. It takes off while the cockroaches observe. The BUGS-2 data feed is exposed for the world to see jeopardizing the research of the Japanese government. Honda laughs, saying that they have been defeated. He suggests they disappear, but his assistant shoots at him. He pulls out the device, throws it at her, and it turns into a spider-like gun, which sprays a purple substance at her. She inhales it and dies. Komachi promises to build a tomb for each member of the team when he arrives on Earth. Please like and subscribe for more movie capsules like this. Thanks for watching.